So the technique that we've developed aims to extend the duration that we can actually preserve the liver for. And what we've tried to do is reduce the temperature of the liver during preservation even further from 4 degrees Celsius to below zero at minus 6 degrees Celsius by means of a technique called supercooling. This initial study was done on rat livers, fresh healthy rat livers, and we've shown that we can store these for 72 hours uh, with 100% survival, which is triple what uh, we'd normally get with normal storage on ice. It has um, three major um, legs to it. The first one is uh, we reduce the temperature we store the organs at. Normally it's done on ice and we actually go down about 10 more degrees Celsius. The second thing is we use a cocktail of preservatives that are added to the usual preservation solutions that are used. And the third one is a machine perfusion system. It's an artificial body that enables you, enables you to um, resuscitate the organ after it has been without oxygen and uh, nutrients for a little while. So between the three of them, we can more than triple the duration that we can preserve the organ successfully for. In current liver transplantation, time is always precious. A liver transplantation is basically an emergency procedure, limited to the scope of about 12 hours. Supercooling was designed as a long-term transplantation modality. If human organs could be supercooled, the transplant center would have more time to prepare and find a good match. So by extending the duration that you can preserve the liver, we'd be able to store it much longer and we'd be able to share livers between different countries even, rather than just different hospitals within the New England region, which we're doing now.